Well, here we are at video number 100 on my series of problem-solving videos to help people study for actuarial exam 2 on financial math. If you've made it through all 100 videos, that's amazing. Even if you've done most of them, that's really amazing. We're going to continue with uh, chapter 4 on bonds. We're going to be looking at problem 4.1.19 from, again, this book, The Mathematics of Investment and Credit, 6th edition by Samuel Broberman, which we've taken most of our problems from. We'll be finding the price of a bond, and I'm going to modify the problem a little bit in two ways. I'm going to say to do it in two ways, one of which involves what we've been doing in the last couple videos, something called Makeham's formula. But here's something different. When the redemption amount is different than the phase or power value, to this point we've always done the same kind of, same values of the redemption amount with the phase or power value. Um, in this situation, we're going to need what's called a modified coupon rate. You could also see problem 4.1.18 if you happen to have Roverman's book to compare it with what you see there. So here is the problem statement. A bond of face value 1,000 bears coupons that have an annual rate of 6.5% payable semi-annually, so the semi-annual rate would be half of that, 3.25%. It's redeemable at an amount 1,050 that's different than the face or power value. It's bought to yield a nominal rate of 8%. They don't say that's an annual rate, but evidently it is, so the semi-annual annual rate would be 4%. If the present value of the redemption amount is 210, the goal is to find the price of the bond to the nearest 10. I thought it's a little strange that they add that extra directions to the nearest 10 because it actually comes out to the nearest 10 as is. So it's funny that they add, added that in the book. I added some directions here. I want to solve this in two ways. First, using the ordinary pricing formula. We'll think about a timeline. Second, using Makeham's formula, which we again used in the past couple videos, but this time it's going to be in the context when the redemption amount is different than the face or par value. And again, we're going to have this idea of a modified coupon rate. So let's first solve it in the ordinary way with the ordinary pricing formula based on thinking about a timeline. So these periods would be half years. There's n of them. We don't know what n is, but evidently we can solve the problem anyway. The face value is 1,000. R, the coupon rate, is half of 6.5%. It's 3.25%. The redemption amount, C, is different than the face value. This time it's 1,050. In general, the coupon amounts are F times R. And then we have the redemption amount, C. The price at time zero is the present value of all these things. P is going to be F times R times a and J, where J is the semi-annual, effective semi-annual yield rate, 4%. And then we take the redemption value and discount that back to time zero. We don't know N, so evidently we're going to have to find V to the N, perhaps, to help us solve the problem. We do know F times R would be 32.5. A and we know what J is. J is 0 0.04. We know C is 1,050. To help us finish this problem, we're going to need to figure out what V to the N is. There's what the uh, formula would look like when we plug in what we know. Uh, what have we not used yet? We have not used the fact that the present value of the redemption amount is 210. K is typically the letter used for the present value of the redemption amount. So it's C times VJ to the N. We are told that is 210. And we know what C is. C is 1050. Therefore, V sub J or V sub 0 0.04 to the N power should be 210 divided by 1050. And that will help us solve our problem. And I'm realizing right now that I'm missing my ordinary calculator that I use, but that's okay. We'll use a fancier calculator, which I happen to have nearby. 210 divided by 1,050 is 0.2. This is 0.2. Um, so we can plug that in here. And we can also plug it in here because this is going to be 1 minus V sub 0 0.04 to the N over 0 0.04. So what do we get here? We're going to get 
32.5 times 1 minus 0 0.2 over 0 0.04 plus 1050 times 0 0.2. 1 minus 0 0.2 is 0 0.8. 0 0.8 divided by 0 0.04 is 20 times 32.5 is 650. That's what this is. And then 1050 times 0 0.2 is 210. So the final answer is 650 plus 210 is 860. That is the price. Okay, and already it is to the nearest 10, like I said. You don't need to round, it already comes out that way. All right, so that's solving using the ordinary pricing formula right there, except C is not equal to F. Now let's solve it the second way. Let's use Makem's formula. Um, Makem's formula uh, was initially written as P, the price is K, the present value of the redemption amount, plus initially we wrote it as H times C minus K, where H was unspecified. H turned out in the problems we did recently to be R divided by J, the coupon rate divided by the yield rate, where the, um, you know, if it's semi-annual for both, you make sure those match. But in this problem, uh, the that, that only held when C was equal to F when the redemption amount was equal to the face value. In general, H is something called G over J, where G is the modified coupon rate, which is going to be the same as the ordinary coupon rate R when C equals F. But what about when C does not equal F? G is chosen so that C times G equals F times R. It's another way to find the coupon amounts. So in other words, G is F times R over C. In this problem, that's 1,000 times 0 0.0325 divided by 1,050. 32.5, the amount of each coupon divided by 1,050, the redemption amount. 32.5 divided by 1,050. G is 0 0.03095238.1. That needs to get divided by J, the yield rate, the semi-annual yield rate, which is 0 0.04, divided by 0 0.04. So this quantity H for this situation is about 0.77381. Let's go ahead and plug in what we know now, the price. Remember K in this problem was the uh, present value of the redemption amount, that's the 210. So we get 210 plus this 0 0.7738095, I'll round it to that much, times C minus K, 1050 minus 210, that is 840. So this 0 0.77381 needs to get multiplied by 840 to get 650. This is 650 plus 210 gives us the same final answer, 860. P is 860. Okay, so we solved it with the second way. So again, here the key is, uh, this is Makem's formula. Again, C is the redemption amount. K is the present value of the redemption amount. H in general is not R over J, but G over J, where G is the modified coupon rate and satisfies this key equation here. C equals F, as is often the case, then G will equal R. But if C does not equal F, then G will not equal R. But this equality between C times G and F times R does always need to hold.